Alright, welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the second last mission in our second campaign of the Legacy. We're still playing on Nightmare difficulty with Iron Man enabled and of course we're doing it as a blind playthrough. No spoilers. Let's go baby. Our job here is to neutralize all targets and hack this disco boat, which unfortunately was left completely unattended. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our good friend Carla Hernandez here and Changing position. we're taking proper positions. So I think I just saw uh, three Berserks. Which, yeah, naturally made me wonder what exactly is going on. Deploying grapple. We're grappling to the other side. I don't know if I mentioned it, but grapple is just such a strong ability. I think... Ah, it depends. Um, I think I'll move out uh, outside onto the balcony. But like I said, it depends. I'm missing our um, grenadier quite a bit. In situations like these, a grenadier is actually quite helpful. How far is the shredded gun going to reach? Um, I mean, you know, I would say we're not engaging this turn because half of our team is not able to contribute. Instead, what we're going to do is Getting everyone into position, full cover, solid positioning, getting the sniper outside. Getting central in position, oh we got the nice uh, little Arashi weapon, look at that. Superior laser sight for maximum crit damage, expanded magazine, hair trigger, superior stock. That's just the num uh, the, the, the kind of weapon that you'd like to see. Plus tail and rounds in it. Very, very good. I can see there is a sector bot somewhere. The ground was shaken. That's not a bad start. That's actually not a bad start. It would just leave the um, Andromedon unchecked. The other option is a shredder gun. This here, <coughs> which would probably shred all of them. We can keep the mind control. I actually like to mind control the berserk, but that's probably wishful thinking. Um, yeah, let's start with this, uh, just because the shred uh, shredding gun is pretty pretty good, and we remove cover. Up close and personal. There we go. Nice one. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Uh, barely. 
Oh, wait a second. Not barely. Quite, quite actually doable. <coughs> so, this gives us a free line of sight. Redford here. a good uh, idea to to hit him but before we do so we can hit one two three that's not too bad uh, we're going to start with the berserk <coughs> one shot two shots and we're doing a solid face-off, which should kill all of them, except the Berserk, and of course, except the Andromedon. Yeah, I know, enraging. Killing the Andromedon. And this here unfortunately will not kill him. Oh, wait a second. I maybe have misjudged Arc Wave. Is Arc Wave a passive ability? Well, see, that's uh, the difference when you're never actually using the abilities, but just judging them on uh, based on their text. If that's a passive ability that uh, generates additional um, percent to hit behind uh, her, that is actually pretty, pretty good. Going to parry. Let's just kill him. I was thinking about shifting uh, ability points over to another unit, but that's really not necessary. We're going to a protocol goddess just in case the Andromedon uh, suit reaches us. And we're taking a shot. Very solid damage. Blue screen rounds helped us a lot. Unfortunately, haven't fully gotten um, uh, them down, so we lost 100 points here. Could have gotten a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Remember when people used to complain about their GPS navigation maps? Well, imagine using one of those, except directed by our DJ friend here. We might as well have been moving through the streets blind. It was that bad. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I said before. There we go. Enemy killed. Again, some solid points. We should continue to move um, to move on. Bradford's taken the lead. One more turn until his grappling hook comes back up. And I'm carefully thinking about whether or not we maybe want to continue. Yeah, let's go. Maybe I can pull a second pack. I really want to get some extra points. Apparently not today. Rolling out. The reason why I use run and gun is I don't know if there are enemies back there. And if Redford, it might uh, look wasteful, but it actually isn't. 
Um, I don't know whether or not enemies are out there, so I'm simply not taking any risk. That's it. Not going here. I'm going to position ourselves. Can we please move to this place? No, we can't. Positioning ourselves over here. So the idea is if Bradford pulls a pack and he has run and gun active, that actually means he can do something. So it's not the worst idea. We're going to use our sniper to overwatch. Got another overwatch with Ever Vigilant. And there's the sector pod. Nice. So we're pulling the next pack without even uh, needing to fear that, that they have a turn. The sector pod will uh, completely move through the wall, giving us full line of sight. Unfortunately that we missed him because this guy uh, is very susceptible to, um, to blue screen rounds. Water before you know it. My boat should still be sitting right there, uh, you know, where I left it, assuming no one found where I hid the keys. Alright, one of them down. That, by the way, would have been, of course, better with Arashi. Uh, with with a sword, but it is what it is. Um, so let's get our priority sorted out. By the way, super cute 33, uh, 33 hit points sector pod. The ones that I fought uh, had almost a hundred. Um, Is there a chance to hit both of the mechanical units? Maybe? Please? No, I don't think so. It's either or. So we're going for the sector pod. The MP grenade has a chance to stun it and power it down. Shutdown for two means it's not going to attack us uh, the next turn. So, which of the enemies could we theoretically stasis? The heavy mech? Yeah, okay. Sector port? No. Let's start with the heavy mech. Uh, well, let's wait. So... The shield bearer will just use his shield ability. I'm a bit afraid about the priest because it can use mind control. So maybe we're just going to try to snipe it. It's a long shot in the truest uh, uh, meaning. Amplify the damage onto the mech. That'll cost us one damage. Uh, uh, that'll cost us one, uh, one focus. Okay, 
killing the sector. Hmm. Are we fast enough to reach this guy with one more movement? We could give it a try. So we're combat presencing mainly because I want to get deep into the enemy's uh, uh, enemy's cover. I think the shockwave isn't too bad. So we're going to stand here and we stay here with Perry. take a shot that's only a 72% shot so Bradford's actually going to ignore cover for now because I'm pretty sure we can uh, finish most of them this turn. This here can be a crit. Yeah, it's amplified like I was hoping it would be. Okay, so Shield Barrage doesn't count really. I'd like to move forward so we can actually grapple ourselves up there. I'm a bit concerned about his ability to mind control uh, to mind control. So maybe what we could do is we could mind control ourselves, but we can do that next turn. Oh, we're not in range. Well, that sucks. Okay, in which case I don't really need to... Um, I don't really need to stasis him. What we could do is... We could inspire one more time. Hmm. Let me think about that. Inspire one more time. That's not too bad. Let's do that. I think we can't reach the priest. But we can um, parry a second time if we so desire. Yeah, it's one field short of reaching the priest. Yeah, it's just knocking him back. Uh, that's actually a possibility to kill him. Let's try it. Yeah, we got him into sustenance. Just enough to kill him. Which means he loses one turn next round. That's okay. Stasis ends, he will probably mind control us. Stasis is also an option. Not too bad because we can kill the sector pot without suffering damage. Oh, hello. The DJ pleaded with us not to destroy his computer along with his recordings. So we agreed that once we reached the boat, we would hack in and shut down the broadcast. I'm not exactly sure why we had to hack in. It was his computer. But I don't remember anyone asking any questions at the time. 
<laughs> okay, the version of Bradford in, uh, in this iteration of the game is much more funny than the version that I'm used to. Like, Bradford's usually the guy who's all business. protocol let's hit the big bad wait a second before we hit the big bad guy um, ooh, we can dominate one of these guys it's actually not bad I was looking for our um, acid grenade, but that's on our Templar, unfortunately. So, which means we need to kill. Um, we need to kill the sector pod. I take a new approach. See you later. Moving over. Yeah, Bradford does not have the 100% chance to kill him. Ah, unfortunate. So that's one more crystal down. Another crystal took severe damage. So I'm all in favor of actually hitting the sectopod through its armor, but killing the, the chrysalid is also not bad, because I can take the sectopod out uh, with, um, with a simple uh, stasis. Let's kill the chrysalid. Fifty fifty on the shield bearer, I think that's fair. You kill the shield bearer, everyone else loses its uh, shield. That stasis the sector pod. Soul fire the shield bearer, maybe even killing it. Of course, one damage short of killing it, which means we're going to have an injured soldier 
uh, most likely she is going to take shots unless mind controlled. He's not going to miss that. That's the first time that we have a wounded soldier in the entire campaign. I can't just give you my password. We hardly even know each other. I got sensitive data on some of those drives. I'll point you towards the files we're after. You guys can take care of the rest. You're released, aren't you? Pack the planet. So, moving over here. Let's set a couple of things straight here. Number one, mind control removed. Number two. Sectoport damaged. Nice little damage. Okay, but it still has a lot of armor. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an acid grenade. It's going to be our alternative to shred. We're reloading and taking a shot. Well, I mean, we can certainly hit it. The question is, is it going to deal enough damage? Well, never mind. We're just sniping it. Moving on target location. Yeah. I'm on it. Such a pity I wanted a flawless run. Okay, moving on. I will go. Roger that. I see the path. Sniper's no moving in as well. Twice. We're going to grapple our way up next turn and get her into position. Yeah, I was thinking about whether or not I could have prevented getting damaged, but here's the reality. It probably would have happened. Either way, there is only so much you can do against stasis. It's random. Okay, I think our positions weren't so bad to begin with. I go as ordered. Need ammo. 
It's one down. Time for a wonderful reload, and hopefully we can finish this guy. Yep, good job. Redford's just so good. to give our Templar the satisfaction of a big fat kill. Plus one focus, so we were pretty wasteful with focus. The area seems kinda quiet, but we still had to find our way to the DJ's computer. Position. So it seems the game wants to signal me we've killed all enemies. Throw in the hook. And we're almost at 50,000 um, victory points as On well. Your order. We've got the objective in sight. That was when we first spotted the DJ's precious computer. Confirmed. On Overwatch. All right. At this point, we were all sick to death of dealing with the damn chrysalids. I was starting to worry that even if we shut down all these transmissions, whatever undersea hellhole those things were coming from was only going to keep filling up the sea until they came ashore regardless. Whatever you say. Cover me. Reloading. Okay, so let's get into position. Moving. Pretty sure we have killed all of the enemies. No one but we have so much time me. left. Might as well use it. Got it covered. Come get some. Yeah, okay. there's all not right, even so an I enemy. I might have unleashed a biblical plague on the world, no movement. but I, I was doing my part to help slow things down. I mean, we might okay, so we're hacking it. Let's see. Probably we're not even getting hacking. Oh, nice. Well, there is really no advantage in it. We can disable all enemies, uh, we can disorient all enemies, but there is no enemy left. I think that was it, that was the mission. We made it without much time to spare. We shut down the time broadcast and spared the DJ's precious recordings. The DJ had a few interesting items stashed away on his boat. I'm not really sure why, though. It wasn't much for fighting. Oh, we're going to upgrade to exosuits, baby. Yes. Got the Reaper, got the Fanfire, that's great. Iconic Storm is a great damaging ability. A ghost is phenomenal, that's a good ability. Our specialist decides not to level anything at kernel level, that's fine. Null Lens, Void Rift. All right, and we're only fifty thousand away from uh, from a gold ranking. Not too bad. I had had just about enough of the DJ and his secrets. I was about ready to beat it out of him, but finally he came clean. I wasn't kidding before when I said the guy was a crackpot. The true source of the all-powerful signal? An early advent chip transmitter. Somehow he got the bright idea of hooking into this thing, despite barely knowing what it actually did. His story was so ridiculous it almost made sense. I mean, none of us were scientists. 
And our solution was simple enough. We'd just blow up the transmitter and undo everything the DJ had put into motion. Simple. They don't know we're here. We came into the area near the waterfront. The chip transmitter was a ways off in the distance, so we didn't have a lot of time to wrap this up. Oh, we could get Back up then, to look at the amount of enemy kills, centers, by the way. And we didn't know a whole lot about their chip implants. I do remember thinking it was a strange place for a transmitter, though. And I just hope the DJ hadn't left anything else out. Okay, this is the point where we're going to cut it for today. Um, we're going to see each other in the next uh, mission, our next series. Then we're finishing the run, uh, Terror from the Deep. And I'm, I'm looking forward to actually finish it at a gold rating as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below to signal YouTube that you like the content. Thanks.